Sega. Okay. <laughs> Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. Uh, I'll be your Captain Hudian today along with... 
Why did this break? Mighty fearsome hungry Drakir at your service. <laughs> yeah, the Drakir read the, the hungry caterpillar and took it a bit too much to heart. Must consume. But yeah, anyway, welcome back to Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 2 Retribution, where today we'll be getting started on a new campaign again. We're not, no need for that. We'll be playing as the Tyranids. <laughs> Let's see, and I forgot to, okay, I had to rush things a little bit because, well, I only just woke up a little bit ago, uh, no, no, not there, <clears throat> so, just there, do not disturb modes, okay, there we go, so yeah, today is going to be a bit of a jank stream, also because it's likely that it'll have, I'll, be get, I'll get pulled away for a while, because uh, yeah, I think I've told I think I've told on stream about the uh, hairdresser family friend before. They were supposed to come yesterday, but that got pushed back to today. And well, <laughs> we'll just have oh, to see dear. how that goes. <clears throat> now let's see. Tyranids are a devastating species of aliens who strip entire worlds of all biological matter in massive invasions. This splinter of High Fleet Leviathan was cut off during the Tyranid invasion of Subsector Aurelia. The monstrous Hive Lord seeks to rebuild the psychic link with the main Tyranid fleet and finally consume the entire subsector. Oh uh, dear. And as it is, they have got to some terrifying new lore recently, uh, some month ago. Okay, I did say oh, that we dear. wanted to try and go for the higher difficulties, not these two, at least normal difficulty, but I've heard some things about this campaign, actually by a video that just released yesterday, <laughs> from a retrospective of all the other uh, Dawn of War games, and supposedly the Tyranids is, is the weakest of the six. So, yeah, let's stick with easy, just in case it is going to become a bore. Ten years ago, we blood ravens destroyed the demon Alcair, ending his schemes to rot subsector Aurelia into a festering hellscape. We thought our victory would mark the end of the war for the Scepter. We were wrong. New demonic incursions relentlessly plagued her planets, Aurelia, Typhon, Calderas and Meridian. In response, the Imperial Guard, the Hammer of the Emperor, was deployed en masse to the Scepter, to secure her, to defend her. Yet the incursions only grew in number, and soon were worsened by insurrection and madness among the Guard's ranks. Now the Scepter sits helpless, racked by constant Endless, unremitting war. We are Space Marines. We are the Blood Ravens. We would act, yet we too are locked in warfare with one another. As Araya Kairos, our chapter master and chief librarian, has declared the heroes of Aurelia to be renegades. Now we are hunted by our own brothers, brothers unaware of the Chapter Master's secret allegiance to Alcair. A corrupt Space Marine Chapter Master, a militia crippled by disorder and turmoil, demons, renegades, a sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the sector, a solution with which I am all too familiar. The Ordo Malleus approaches the Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus, <laughs> cleansing every planet of the Sector of Life. Okay, that's certainly a name. Corrupt <laughs> and insane. But even now, an enemy once thought long vanquished is stirring. The worlds of Subsector Aurelia still bear the scars of the Tyranid invasion. The Hive Fleet was thought to be shattered, and the surviving beasts to be feared and unguided. And so they have been left to lurk in the dark corners of our worlds. 
as the Tyranid infection has recovered and grown, the hive mind has called to its lost children. A hive lord has awakened. It will answer the call. It will make clear the way, and it will prepare the feast. Okay. Uh, thank you for the follow, Fat Cougar Coochie. It's <laughs> definitely a name. <laughs> Oh, okay. hello and welcome! Yeah. Oh, dear Hope you'll enjoy the show. Uh, speaking of that as well, there's another follow a new follower. Not sure how long that one's been there. Grandmaster Player 4. Thank you for the follow as well, even if it is belayed. <laughs> yeah, they, they were not the last dream. We should have scoured this world of these things years ago. Now look at this mess. But far be it from me to question our great and wise leaders. I will pretend I didn't hear that trooper. Speak like that around a commissar and see what happens. I was there when the Blood Ravens killed the Hive Fleet. If you're on your guard, these Tyranids are no more dangerous than Meridian Razor Slugs. Look! Ahead! What is that? <laughs> Well, pff, that's where Merrick's lucky streak ends, it seems. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's kind of terrifying, and yeah, maybe this might be the weakest, but I hope here this one might be the most different one from the others in some or several aspects. Perhaps, yeah. We'll see how that goes. And it's of course in the right. Apparently, look at. I gotta mention the newest lore. Apparently, some months ago, the fall of Tyrannic War has begun. Okay. While this high fleet. And apparently, due to they fought a lot of chaos and other things, recently they evolved even more. I did read somewhere recently that there have been new Tyranids, uh, new Tyranid units revealed, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They should have added more subtitles. But yeah. Look at the size of that one. Quickly, bring it down! Oh, Go ahead. Uh, what I was to say is, one of the new ones is bigger than Cornfax, but it's extremely swift and it destroyed. It did Using cover. <laughs> I thought they were supposed to be dumb beasts. Right. I was trying to say is, one of the new ones. The Kill a large portion of the custodies that intercepted one of them. They tried to assassinate yeah. a high level target. It actually they killed it, but it, on top of that, it killed many of them. And killing one custodian is not a small feat. It's yeah. Several. And if they get their hands on the custodian gene seeds. <laughs> yeah. I think they call the neurotype. Uh, no, the non emissary. Uh, neurotype is something else that's basically the living brain things, but on steroids and armored and use the warp even more effectively than the other tyrannids. Okay, it looks like it's, yeah, as is fitting of a hive mind-ish species, it makes sense that there's only one voice going around instead of four, as with the others. Is uh, it yes and no? Yeah, it's it's more. 
again, Hive Mind is the easiest comparison. In, but in truth, it's more complex than a high mind. This is terrifying. Yeah. And I actually got to learn, like, there's one lictor, and it remembers each time it died. That's... And I Let's repeat, go for it remembers guns. each time it died. Yeah. Since, the, since they're basically just uh, <laughs> running an eternal 3D bioprinter. Meanwhile, the termagants sit back and shoot you to death. Yeah, okay. Also, uh, how's things with you today, then, Cougar? Hope it's going well. Let's see. Okay, that is a unsettling voice. Okay, we can, beyond our bio grenade, we can call in rippers. Yeah, they are delayed. Hello, okay, but... brothers and sisters. <laughs> if they even, but they have more queens. Because I also know they have uh, recently evolved. <laughs> and of course the orcs have a stupid nickname for tyranids. That's the first time I heard that. The beard heard of that one. Okay, he has quite a range on this. So enlarging adrenal glands, okay. Let's call the, the little ones over there. Okay. Yeah, that Ripper ability is going to need a bit of planning ahead to try and intercept things. Yeah, but it was really Most are tied up. Well, yeah, I think I recommend you, you, Helio, and other people to watch Great Book is Show's video about the fourth, number four, four Tyrannic War. Yeah, okay. And you will be terrified of the creatures there. Especially with the new upgrade the Noon Queens have. But if you kill one, they will list out the psychic scream so low out and loud that it's not. They're not only going away to rebirth a new queen, they're telling every member of the Ultra High Fleet to make more Noon Queens. <laughs> of course. As quick as one dies to tell. The still tell everyone, make more! I will start, we make a new one, but you make more as well! Oh, bloody heck. Yeah. So basically, they're like a, a Hydra in that way. Yeah, it, it actually is called the Hydra effect. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so best yeah, we can hope for then is that they uh, waste too much biomass on those and leave vulnerabilities elsewhere. Oh god, yeah, they're terrifying. But I can see... Like, if they want to make people make it more serious, what well, they should do be doing that, they need to remember, if they actually invade a world, like a major one, remember that it will take time to recover from such an attack. Yeah, and as we're seeing here, they can pop up even decades after. Yeah, and it almost destroyed the old main world. This was almost fine. You short that time after, probably they did they forgot about it. And another space marine who were of the blood angels was apparently in the fourth war now attacked them. Was destroyed but not only by tyranids, but also joining demons of all things that joined a freeway <laughs> battle. Yeah, of course. <laughs> probably corn uh, demons because well they don't give a crap about how the blood flows, just that it does. I don't know, it might be, but I do know this. They took, they all, all they might, the blood insurers are still around, but they may not be in proper combat condition anymore. Yeah. 
they almost got wiped out. Okay, we're making that good pace at least with this. And I just yeah, heard a old school stock sound. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the most stock of and the most stock of growls there is. Yeah, but I haven't heard any while. Okay, just grab what we can. And let's see, we have Warrior Broods, Venom Cannon, Powerful Range Detector, Receive Range Damage Bonuses. Okay. Let's get that. Okay, and it looks like the Rippers are actually not going to start, not going to starve off on their own, it seems. Okay, so technically we could just keep adding to the swarm more and more. Uh, wait, uh, do they cause population? Uh, yeah, they do. Okay. Uh... And there they go! And just like turnings, I'm consumed to having this is a consumer bur uh, two burgers. <laughs> Okay. Move to the other side. It seems we don't get to aim them for some reason. Uh, yeah, one thing I also heard, uh, one thing I also learned is that apparently the game got a bit, uh, got quite rushed towards the end of its development, or at least I mean, through part of its uh, development. Give me that. I would not be surprised if Sega <laughs> rushed them. Go disrupt. Oh, also something else I learned. Apparently, units can digest Necron Metal. Oh. Just they just don't get any nourishment from it. Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> does explain. So they, again... It's not that they cannot digest turn. It, you know, it's not that the units cannot digest necrons. Uh, for before, and uh, what else do me? But more, they just not much worth doing. Okay. So conflict with the necrons are rare. <laughs> yeah, since for them it's just a, it's just going to be a loss no matter what. So even if they win, they don't get to eat. Yeah, or rather, what they get to eat is not very little uh, nourishment. Yeah, not worth the investment. Yeah. So basically crypto for them. <laughs> okay. Just gotta but get through the rest of this, and then we can get to the main meat. Could be terrifying. Just necklaces are not united. Yep. So they may... Someone... Uh, well, uh, I think it was one mind syndicate. Three rounds, uh, they... Genius could just, just wait and let the Necrons wipe each other out. And just they, then they move in and clean up the stragglers. Yep. Okay, moving forwards. Hmm. Okay. Going to simplify this a bit. Just making these into smaller groups. Okay. We're going to need to keep an eye on the warrior broods since to see if they need to well set up like the other ones with their heavy weaponry. Small fries go in there. Nope, they just open fire immediately, it seems. Though it does take them as they fire slower. Okay. We might want to, we might build things bit, a bit differently this time because I I also did a bit of a check up on uh, suggestions for how to build your units with this or your heroes with this and apparently <clears throat> apparently the hive lords can give a very strong boost to uh, allies around it 
So it might actually be better to, mi to yeah, make it go range instead of uh, melee. You're right. Okay. And go. The way I would should be able to be able to do both. Sounds well. Mm -hmm. True. They have more than uh, one pair of arms. I got two, four. Well, four arms, not two, four pairs. Okay. Let's grab those. I don't think the Tyranids are going to need much energy since they have only one. <laughs> They have only one unit that counts as a vehicle. Hmm. And that's the Carnifax, which would count as their super units. And we don't yeah. get access to the super unit until later, up to almost the end game. The literal you end game. Me, me of a new breed of uh, Carnifaxes no. arrived. The Killer Screamer. I'm guessing and basically a Wailing Banshee, but Tyranids and big. It's very big and he's drawn some two legs. What in the name of terror? Are we too late? Xenos filth, come to me now. Uh-oh. And yeah. This and Merrick are two of the characters from the Imperial Guard campaign. And I'm tempted to say we go for that after this. No more. I will end the blasphemy of your existence here and now. Hey, you sure about that? You're getting torn to shreds. <laughs> I think I think this has been the quickest this has gone. Of all of them so far. Uh, uh, how can this be the end? These creatures are not simple beasts. I've commanded men for a century, achieved so much glory. Not like this. General Caster's forces were the first to fall to this new swarm. But they were not the last. Within hours, millions of Tyranids burst from the jungle. Within days, every outpost was under attack. Instinctively, the Hive Lord was drawn to where resistance was strongest. Soon, Typhon would fall. Okay, this is going to bit of, you know, put a bit of a more interesting spin on it. With Gabriel giving more exposition about everything, or more description. Let's see, Did regeneration. You say, there was a voice actress who made the, the higher mind's voice a while ago? Uh, I don't think I've commented on the hive mind before. Maybe I read off the name during one of the credits. But yeah. I don't think I actively spoke on it or made, commented on it. Yeah, if it, it, if I remember, and if you did mention it was an actress, I got all to say is, I feel sorry for her voice for streaming so much. <laughs> it is It has likely been edited quite heavily, but yeah, that's going to be tough on the voice all the same. Yes, I see. <laughs> <laughs> you, see you hear yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Regeneration. Release of pheromone triggering uh, temporary but aggressive br uh, blood clotting and cell regeneration within nearby Tyranids and the Hive Lord himself. Okay. So basically a heal bomb. And let's see. We also got latent regeneration. Biomorph. Hive Lord revived if knocked out. A biomorph that activates aggressive cell regeneration when the Hive Lord is in critical condition, returning him to life after a duration. Reformation, level 4 Biomorph, grants the Reformation ability, instantly respawn at the target location. A Biomorph that allows the Hive Lord to reform his physical presence at another location. Enlarging Grindle Grants, glance 7% range damage. 
Evolutionary enhancement to the Hive Lord's form, rendering it more combat effective. Uh, Pheromone Trail. Tunits around the Hive Lords periodically reinforce. Okay, so that, that's similar to what Blood Flag could unlock later on. Uh, yes, hmm. hmm? We are missing two heroes. Yeah. Uh, Biomorph that amplifies the pheromone uh, trail of the Hive Lord so that even Tyranids in remote locations are drawn to him, reinforcing nearby squads. And Acid Bloods on hit deal damage to nearby attackers. The alien blood spilled from the Hive Lord becomes so corrosive that it can eat through ceramite armor and dissolve flesh in mere moments, spilling certain doom for those not agile enough to evade the spray of acidic aquar. <laughs> Very much uh, Xenomorph like. <clears throat> oh dear. Let's see. Hardened Carapace, Rending Claws, and Tyranid Death Spitter Ravener. What is that? Fragile high damage melee unit that is effective against infantry and capable of burrowing underground. Can be upgraded with the Devourer, a ranged weapon effective against all targets. As to increase melee damage against all targets on the Gene Stealer Squad. And the Hardened Carapace. Plus 50 armor rating. The chitin plates of this carapace are thicker and denser, allowing it to absorb kinetic impacts that would punch through lighter armor. Uh, I'm, I'm very tempted to grab this because that's that's just plain 66 armor right off the bat, if that is, if it's not glitched or anything like that. No. Are you sure we wouldn't start with that bonus armor like we had on with the others? Mm, probably. Let's get this thing then. And it looks like we're going to have only the Hive Lord as a hero. Because with the other ones, we would have gotten the others by now. So that is going to be yeah. interesting, I guess. Yeah. I was wondering what kind of other lords we, and heroes we will get, but... You know, yeah, yeah the gameplay here probably will be quite different. Uh, really? Digest unwanted biomorphs. <laughs> okay, makes more sense than uh, store it for later or something. Yeah. Uh, and it does make sense that they, they do get rid of unwanted mutations over time. Yeah, to... Hmm. Okay, now I wonder what will be getting compensation for not having as many lords. Or lords, what I say? Heroes. Will we be able to have more units? I think so. Well, the whole thing about Tyranids is swarming and adapting. Uh, let's have a look at these the equipment. Venomous Talons. Let's see. On hit, apply a, 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 apply a poison that deals 400 damage over 20 seconds and periodically stuns the targets. A pair of specially evolved Talons that inject the host with a lethal debilitating venom. Okay, so that's 20 damage per second, which is which sounds pretty good, but... I don't think anything is going to last 20 seconds in melee with this thing. <laughs> then we have the poisonous carapace. On take damage, gain a stack of toxic miasma. After enough charges, toxic miasma, toxic miasma automatically disperses. A biomorph that rules the carapace of the, light, of the hive lord with poison assists. When the hive lord is attacked, they begin producing a, a poisonous substance that builds up and is eventually released in a toxic cloud of miasma. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the yeah, two are... the other armor. <laughs> yeah, I also want the uh, 45. Okay, still pretty good. And well, it's early on, oh, yeah, so we're going to get Metathons. But... Yeah, less armor, but still, it's still a nightmare to fight in melee with this thing. <laughs> yeah. Now, I get the feeling that this campaign might play out more like a, a minion master thing. That we have our Hive Lord as the primary, well, as our primary strength unit, but that we can adapt him to whatever we need. So let's have a look at these biomorphs. 
where the accessories warp field grants the warp field ability allows activation of the protective energy shield a biomorph that allows the hive lord to activate a protective warp energy shield while, ac <clears throat> while active damage received drains energy instead of health then we have latent regeneration reformation yeah we've seen all of these before i think i'll actually grab this one so that uh, we don't have to retreat to reinforce units. Uh, no need for range damage. These two are too high level at the moment, so... Hmm. I'm thinking this one. If we're going to have... If we're going to deal with big-ass swarms of Tyranid, then we want to be able to heal them as well. Now, what have we here... Commander items, Shadow in the Warp, on hit, restore energy, weakens the resolve of nearby enemy units, reducing their speed and uh, damage and armor, and plus 25 energy. A neural mutation that enhances the negative energy protected by the Hive Lord Synapse, weakening nearby enemies and granting the Hive Lord an unusual connection with the Warp. And then we have Speed Synapse. Reduces, yeah, reduces ability recharge times for all nearby allies, plus 25, <laughs> plus 20 percent movement speed to all nearby allies. Improves the Hive Lord speed and ability recharge times, as well as enhancing synapse, granting these benefits to nearby Tyranids. Okay, so we, we can definitely build towards a very strong just melee swarm build for the moment. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh dear. Oh, something else I remember. I know that someone, apparently the Imperium have very often on location, location capture Tyranids and have their psychics try to connect to the minds we came and try to read and understand the high mind and all that. It sounds like a pretty bad idea. Yeah, I guess what usually happens. Yeah, they go mad. No, they close. They either need, have to disconnect before going mad, or they die from madness. <laughs> On the very <laughs> moment they connect. Now let's have a look take that. Yeah, let's take a look at these perks. Digestion pools. The Hive Lord regains health for enemy enemy for every enemy it kills. Each attack, uh, Tyrant's Carapace, each attack on the Hive Lord's Carapace triggers a hardening of Resonous Mucus, increasing its armor value. Rapid Mutation can equip an additional accessory. Bonded Exoskeleton increases the Hive Lord's health. Additionally, its Synapse Aura increases the health of nearby Tyranids. Symbiotic Relationship, attacks made by the Hive Lord and Tyranids in Synapse range will heal one another. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to keep this thing close to our main damage unit, huh? Yeah, and I feel like they... Okay, uh, we haven't heard the elders yet, but so far, it sounds like the green is a must. Definitely. Uh, charge, charge a targeted location, knocking over everything and suppressing en enemy units in the charged path. Hormagons, instead of rippers, call in Hormagons, low health melee units. Bioplasma Barrage. Bioplasma now fires several shots at once. Now that sounds tempting. Gene Stealers instead of Hormagons calling Gene Stealers. Low health but high damage melee units. And enlarged Scything Talents. Increase the damage of the Hive Lord and Tyranids in Synapse range. Adds a chance to deal bonus damage. And then in the wheel line, Termagons. Calling Termagons low health range units. Spore Carapace, Tyranids in Synapse range are immune to suppression, will charge into combat and leap over cover. Raveners, instead of Termagons, calling Raveners, highly mobile and armored, uh, yeah, armed with a deadly Ravager uh, ranged weapon. Explosive decomposition, Tyrants in, uh, Tyranids in range of the Hive Lord Synapse aura will explode on death. <laughs> And synaptic web. Increase the Hive Lord's energy and significantly lower ability recharge times. Okay, that sounds rather weak, weak compared to the others. But yeah. I'm thinking we go at least this line and then one or the other here. Depending on if we go melee or range with the Hive Lord. Yeah, sounds good. For the green one, is way too good to ignore. 
So we put all both points into that at the moment, since, well, we lack any ranged weapons. And yeah, we'll, we'll see which of these we go down, depending on the weapons that we, gra uh, that we get. For now... To all officers and regiments that may be receiving, we're through with Imperial Command. If we have to fight, we're gonna do it for ourselves from now on. You wanna call that defection? Fine. We were dead men anyway. At least the cults promise something in return. This region is ours now. We see anyone, anyone within a mile of here, we'll bury them in ordinance. Don't doubt we can either. The regiment's holy armor isn't that particular about the holiness of them that drives it. Okay, garrison troops. Many squads are fortified inside durable structures. Heavy weapons teams. Uh, yeah, we've seen this before. And, okay, so we do have some others that we can bring along. Oh, no. Okay, it's it's a squad either way. So we can bring a Ravener uh, Broods, a Termagant Broods, another Termagant Broods, and, or a Hormagant Broods, and then Warrior Broods, or Gene Stealer Broods. Okay. Hmm. This is interesting. Hmm. So we have that one hero, but for compensate for that, says we probably are gonna have one more really, really powerful hero. Yep. It, it could also compensate with giving us extra squads to start with, and we get to choose which which of the squads we want. Okay, and because they're not honor guards, we're not getting increased capacity here. It just changes uh, how much population capacity they take up. Let's see. I'm thinking we go full melee and see how that goes. Oh dear. Since, well, we know we'll have to run for most of this mission, so ranged won't help much. <laughs> and yeah, the Synapse Aura... F <clears throat> There's also the Synapse Aura with the Hive Lord, and since he's melee, we'll want as much melee as possible. Okay, and the Gene Stealer starts stealth. Let's see. The Hive Lord just sounding like the darkness from the games. Okay. <laughs> we know how this goes. We head on over and we'll have to rush hell back. Okay. Move on the ground oh. and become I think stealth. They are... <laughs> they're ambushers. Yeah, or. Okay, maybe they're not the replacement for assault squads, you know, the ones that jump. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and they can move around on the ground, so we can basically just pop up underneath the front line like that. Intruders! Oh, hell, we've been found! I don't care who you are. Feel the might of the Bean Blade. Okay. And back. <laughs> we heard out of the swamplands that the Nids had gotten smart enough to crush Caster. Let's see if you're smart enough to fall back from a Bane Blade. Damnation! We can't get through here. Find another path! Okay. Is that meant for our... Meant for what? It feels like always someone has to be exploded there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm getting the feeling that this campaign was the last made because what well, it was they skipped the <laughs> they skipped general in the text there in the lines there and there's also the fact that the uh, the descriptions of the effects of the equipment of the tyranids seems uh, a bit cruder 
And again, it's the, it could be uh, it could be emulating the fact that uh, the hive mind doesn't care about anything beyond what it actually, well, actively does and such. Yeah, but also could have, so, to emulate the complexity of uh, whatever it quote unquote speaks. Yeah. Is a single space marine in there? <laughs> okay, disrupt that line. Can food! Oh god, I, I can see that happen now if someone makes a joke comic about children in minutes and they call uh, space marines can of food. <laughs> well, to the hive, they would be nothing more than that. Okay, so collect this and move on. The Ripper Swarms are really only just for disrupting their line. So there's no, yeah, <laughs> nothing really lost with them. Okay, then disrupt them. Okay. And yeah, once we get into melee, these units are basically done for us since, well, they're ranged units. <laughs> but yeah, we probably shouldn't focus ah, food. Demolish our cannon. Open fire. We probably shouldn't focus fully on melee with all of our troops, since, well, we're likely to get our asses oppressed that way. Yeah. Uh, we ought to adapt it all. Hmm? And I'm getting called, so give me a bit. All right. Guess we have a break. Oops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I says I thought uh, <laughs> I'm getting called down to get my hair cut, so this will probably be uh, five, ten minutes or so. <clears throat> uh, let me note down the time so I can edit it out afterwards. Four, seven... Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Back in a bit. All right. Yep. Back after the break. And apparently the BRB button is broken. Okay. Of course. Okay, and back. And seems I was about right. Five to ten minutes, and it's been about eight. <laughs> okay. Test one, two. You still alive? Or did you get ripped apart? Okay, I guess it's, now it's Rakir's turn to be AFK. Okay, um, let's see. You called? Or, oh no, I looked at the wrong. I, I looked at the wrong counter. Uh, let's see, forty-seven. Okay, so that was longer than ten minutes. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, let's continue then. Yeah. By the way, um, what are you doing? You avatar were doing concerning body movements. <laughs> okay. Like a twitchy eye, but it, basically, you look like you're about to, about to puke or something. <laughs> okay, I'll have to keep an eye for that then. Yeah, for it didn't go stationary as you usually did do, at least not at first, but a while it was a bit wibbly wobbly. <laughs> okay, Oop. Rippers can't capture. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll have to cut that out again. Uh, she was supposed to visit us yesterday, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, would have been better that I just can have an interruption in the stream than to cancel it beforehand because of a possibility of interruption. Yeah, and it doesn't take too long. Yeah. Well, depending okay. on the head, of course. It gave me some time to go downstairs and say hello to my nephew and niece, and the mother. Okay. <clears throat> it reminds me, something cute happened today with my little niece. No. Oh. My mother, her grandmother, 
asked her where is the key here. <laughs> and I, I was in front of my niece, but she did not point at me. Guess where she pointed at? Where then? <laughs> my stairs. <laughs> of course, because that's where you typically are. <laughs> yeah, so she was both wrong and correct. Okay. Uh, that little chicken. Uh, yeah, I, I, I might end up calling her little chicken. <laughs> Not because she's scared, but more... She, she reminds me of a little bird. <laughs> uh, so basically, what you're indirectly saying is that it's so rare for you to get out of your dungeon that she didn't even think to see you around there. Uh, possibly. <laughs> Dude, this stairs goes up, so yeah, I think you're supposed to have dungeon in the basement area, not on the upper floor. <laughs> Same difference. Okay, if most of you keep moving. Okay. I do gotta say that things are going pretty quickly like this. This, these are uh, actually uh, our, our units are pretty fast to begin with, even which well is kind of required when you're supposed to be eating everything. <laughs> you can't eat what you can't catch. Holy! So far, I'm not disliking it to be all early on. Yeah. But I do definitely feel like it definitely will be the one with the possibly the biggest difference from the other factions. Yeah. Like, it makes sense that we don't have any other heroes, but you'd think they'd at least put in some alpha versions of uh, other units, like uh, a Lictor or such. Yeah, oh, thank you for reminding me of the new, there's a new breed of Lictors. <laughs> it's just the new thing of everything, huh? Yeah, it's easy. The Lictors are usually solitary. Assassin, Glacier Gather, and all that. Yeah. But, I feel like I've evolved a new Lictor type called the Von Ryan Lictors, and they are pack hunters. Okay, yeah, that is definitely a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, and they say the squid faces, but the... they have something else on them now as well on the face. <laughs> well, that <laughs> that we haven't heard has got a high velocity shell on his face. Oh, oh, right, I know how to describe it. You know how predators have those weird sign mandibles? Yeah. They, the new ones have squid face bot jokes as well, but their sign mandibles look like, kind of like spider-like, but without the fur on over an upper jaw. Okay, yeah. So just another horror. <laughs> oh yeah, let's call it a new nightmare fuel face. And... I just thought the Predators had a badass but also disturbing face. Oh, two minutes so that of Ur said, hold my beer. <laughs> you hold, hold my uh, Icor. Oh yeah, probably that. Hold my Icor. And I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh good gosh, I think I just did realize a good nickname for them. What, Squidward? Uh, no, not yet. That's a actually one. an octopus. Uh, more of Tradafulu or something like that. <laughs> okay, definitely works, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a weird nickname, but it does get the point across when you see the damn thing. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I still disturb that the new... new Titan can uh, channel the warp. Okay, we're definitely not having as much issue with fortified units since we're basically just tearing them down around them. <laughs> just look how fast that's going down. Yeah, wait, will the Ripper be ex excellent for the use? Well, go inside? Technically speaking, they would be, but uh, they're just attacking the foundations instead, snippling at the corner of a building. Yeah, uh, for people curious, yes. It's a ripper body I'm using, I'm quite ripped, you see. 
Yes, it, 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 you came to me in split second. I think he was called, but said I had a ripper body of one. All right, what if I go with that? <laughs> okay. Keep moving on. Might as well team these two together. It feels a bit odd. It feels off to just be going through this without the banter, really. Yeah. In, in turn, we are getting through things real fast as well. Oh, yeah, and it does kind of make sense. And if this is the reason that they say it is the weakest, I think might be too much, but it kind of makes sense for. Yeah, there there are no individuals in the uh, high, in the fleet. Well, they, they're all individuals, but it has been... They're rare. Yeah, rare, but also very rare they had some that actually went against the high mind. At least they tried to resist it, apparently. Okay. And we have to look at it. It might be just been one incident. But yeah. Again, the high mind is a oversimplification. For some people who look me closer to what it might be, I'd call it a god, but well, you know the Imperium. Yeah. If if they describe it too well, then it's <clears throat> then it puts a, a put a puts a risk on of uh, appearing weak. You go oh, something big yeah, just hit there. But they know about the Chaos God and all that, but have it acknowledged that Tilvis have their own God manipulated him? It's terrifying enough, but it might be closer, but yeah, it's the closer it can say, but the, the Hagemite is both a single entity that controls entire swarms, like yeah. his own body. I think the closest thing it would probably be calling it a sort of hive-minded hierarchy or something. Like, the swarms of uh, rippers and such are not going to be intelligent beyond uh, eat and bite. But the bigger ones, like uh, the carnifacts and such, those do get some intelligence. Yeah, and they are the ones telling what the others what to do. So if there's okay. a high lord nearby, yeah, you expect the Reaper to in act more intelligent. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going straight for the cogitator. Even as we're losing units as we do. Yeah, I, I I think we should try and take this on with at least one of the factions. Hmm. Question is going to be which of them. With the last flicker of resistance snuffed, the Hive Lord was no longer needed on Typhoon. It was consigned to the digestion pools to be born anew elsewhere in the subsector. Every world of Subsector Aurelia had been seeded with Tyranids, awaiting the call of the Hive Mind. Uh, yeah, <laughs> delete and then copy paste. That is basically what's happening here. Yeah, and that's just the terrifying thing for each individual one. And as I said, the, the about the Lictor thing. The Lictor remembers what happened to it each time, so there is some individuality. Yeah. Especially since so they have hidden gene stealers and other plans and all that, so there is some individuality, but they are... I guess you could say... extremely loyal! Yeah, probably more like an implanted uh, loyalty thing, but yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh, Heavy Venom Cannon. 
The venom cannon fires salvos of highly corrosive crystals coated with a metallic venomous residue at high velocity. These crystals can punch through armor with ease, causing damage to infantry and vehicles alike. Okay, so that's our first ranged weapon. Crystal? Uh, okay! <laughs> And uh, let's see, genetic memory grants experience, one use only. And well, we only have one squad, so we know immediately who's that's going and who's that uh, who, who we're going to use that on. Oh, I see that makes sense for. for is it, here's the thing when trees grow fossilized, they can turn into coal in some circumstances. However, we have record of. Dinosaur fossils that have absorbed other minerals, like they have been found a golden dinosaur skull and another one made of quartz. Okay. <laughs> Due to the fossils started absorbing the quartz mineral into them over the eons. So I guessing this is something like that. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Now, let's see. We can choose between the Thorax Swarm, spawns a group of rippers that follow the Hive Lord, rippers attack, uh, ripper attacks damage and slow nearby enemies. This bloated Thorax cavity contains a teeming swarm of small parasitic rippers that erupt from the host's chest to drown nearby enemies in a tide of scuttling monstrosity. So basically, just a swarm of chest bursters. Hmm. Except or the chest can... bursters here are not parasites, they're just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello, Lictor. Hey, yeah, He's Cthulhu face devil. himself. <laughs> Elite assassin unit that comes with the infiltrate ability and the deadly flesh hook next attack. Detects infiltrated units or an upgrade for the Ravner. I think it's an easy choice, huh? Yeah, we have to try this out. And it sounds like the hive mind just caught a whiff of Kairos and just wants to snack on him, man, now. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, now you see what I meant earlier, that this uh, one can handle melee and range just fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I still don't get the point it needs to... Change one arm into a tube. So some of the thermogons seem to have its the rivals connected with a cable to their bellies. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I don't think we'll need this one since we we're, we're going ranged. So let's up our movement speed instead. Okay. Calderas. Attention, all blood ravens of Strike Force Omega in the Argus district. The ascendant fears investigation and pursuit by those who are less enlightened. He wishes to ensure that all traces of his passing on Calderas are eliminated. As such, Argus settlement is to be raised to the ground. Success will ensure his pursuer's trail shall grow cold and his great plans realized. Is it just me or does the particular voice acting of that one sound like uh, the old school uh, uh, TV and evangelists? Even evangelists? Of, I, I forget how to specifically say the words. Like the priests oh, on TV and such, they sound a bit like that to me <laughs> with this. Sure, maybe for some other games and such. But I like the concerning spark 
of some uh, actual ones. <laughs> okay, and one of our starting squads has now been swapped out with a lictor now that we've unlocked it. Okay, but uh, let's let's kind yeah, let's try and go wait, wait, all arranged wait, wait, on wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Which one of these are anti-vehicle? Uh, we'll have to bring those in otherwise, since, well, we don't really have much of an anti-vehicle thing. So that might be a bit of an issue. Okay, so we'll just have to, well, overwhelm them. And plus, we don't give a crap if the buildings here get destroyed or not, so we don't have the soft time limits that the uh, Ravens had. Oh... Charming. Or actually, what is it going to give us with this? Oh. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Makes sense to have a tyrant guard be well, the one of the technical Wait. vehicles. It, it's not. It's a monster. But that's. Aren't they all monsters in a way? <laughs> I guess uh, these count as more monstrous. Uh... Ooh. Uh, wait, is that what they come automatically equipped with? Uh, let's see. Warrior Brood, the turret to suppress enemy inventory, can equip the Venom Cannon to deal with vehicle threats. Oh. Okay, Red effective Red. against vehicle infantry and vehicles. Okay. I don't. I don't think it mentioned vehicles earlier, or did I just overlook that? That's uh, irrelevant it. info. Uh, what is the tyrant? What is the high god? The tyrant god good for? Beside the damn tank. A large, durable melee unit that moves faster in synapse can use the shield wall ability, which regenerates health and re induces incoming damage. So it's a tank. As in the, the attention-grabbing kind. Yeah, and I remember you. This one may have, a, or is strongly hinted at, it may have... Sergeant Lysandros, be advised. Enemy forces have been detected inside the settlement. Do not deviate from your mission. Our priority is to demolish every last structure in this miserable village. Right, I was, I was saying is... The Tyrant Gods are the source of the high mind getting their hands on with so many space marines to eat. Yeah. And that knowledge, they will execute new youth if you learn about it. Yeah, can't go around slandering the space marines as to having been beaten. Yeah, Keep or moving. even the idea of they, uh, they are a result of space marine genes and gene seeds consumption. Okay, just gotta rampage through everything. Oh, he, he, he's taking the heat. Okay, it may not be as big as a dreadnought, but... It seems to handle handle it better than a dreadnought. <laughs> that says something. Yeah, there's also the fact that it's in synap range, which the game hasn't really said about anything. But I'm presuming everything with the green glow about the head is in synap range and thus getting boosted. Let's check it out. We can check that later on by sending this thing off on its own. Okay, again, it just randomly the game beginning deselected for like half a second. We're not seeing, I'm not seeing anything here that suggests to bye bye that it's me currently being buffed by an aura, other than the, the green well, vapors around this thing's heads. 
Oh, good God. That thing is actually terrifying, but it's kind of surprising that it uses its talons more than its mighty knuckles. Well, I guess it uses knuckles to run over people. And yeah, the green effect is gone and it's actually slower now. But once it gets back into range, yep, it speeds back up. Okay. Okay, just keep on fighting, keep on shooting. And okay. food. <laughs> and I, I was at least, I was actually expecting things to go slower, but ranged, <laughs> having everything in ranged uh, synapse, and uh, again getting. As well as uh, the speed boost that is helping a lot with just moving everything along. Yeah. I, sure, we, we still don't easy as the other faction. We played as on the other factions. But that bloody heck, the Tyranids are ripping and tearing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, set everything to auto. To auto reinforce. Uh, let's capture those things. Yeah, even more swarms. <laughs> okay. It's a bit unusual to have a weapon that is actually effective against both infantry and vehicles, though. And typically, it's only it either or. Sergeant Lysandros, come in. We have come under fire. Our mission has been compromised. Stay calm, young brothers. I will deploy heavy support. It will arrive in moments and crush these worms. Worms. Right. <laughs> All right, now this is personal. This is personal. <laughs> Let's see how long this thing lasts. Not very. <laughs> oh, wait, we're all heating it. Yeah, the plasma, you know, the bioplasma didn't hit it, but everything else sure did. <laughs> okay, this might... Story-wise, this is probably going to be the weakest, but just entertainment-wise, of just rushing and rolling over everything with a swarm of bugs. <laughs> I think that it might actually... I think that is actually going to be quite fun like this. Let's yeah. get a Lictor and some more warriors. Still remember. I, I, I wasn't sure if there are any novels dedicated to the units alone. Yeah, so there's not much insight on the, uh, well, the internal workings of the high fleet and such. Yeah, we have only small glimpses of them, and having the, the story heavy on the units will put the rule really alien mind cosmic horror and all that into jeopardy yeah for they are supposed to be ununderstandable yeah they, they, they are in the feeling between straightforward and unknowable this is kind of terrifying yeah uh, let's see. You, trash to the wall, please. <laughs> Obligatory, oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Look at that, we're multiple level ups there, but... <laughs> okay, I I'm guessing <laughs> our... <laughs> God! <laughs> the attacks kind of looks adorable. Uh, Warp-sensitive medulla. Okay. Holy! Hmm. I'm guessing maybe our... Well, uh, maybe, I'm guessing maybe our starter squads can also technically level, or but, oh, uh, what also makes sense since it's since it's all hives together mostly. Ooh. Technically, the entire uh, technically the entire uh, swarm levels up when the hive lords levels. Makes sense, and also I saw the 
Yeah, Italian gods do something. What then? He, um, ripped rip, so, uh, space of being scaled to bloody mist. <laughs> Speaking of mists and canned foods. You do know that the tyrants and tyranids just do not give a crap about any of that. You you were basically just a pit stop for a snack for a packet sandwich. Yeah. This is also the thing about tyranids, like they all like within the cosmic core look food and like You all very much beneath them. You're just food. Yeah, you are of no interest. Yeah, and... but I have how would they also have, like, with some Eldritch Horror God and all that? Will you be just be with them as insect food and such? Do you just view them with twisted curiosity? Yeah, that is probably even worse. <laughs> yeah, for they have been known to do surprisingly acting acts of cruelty. Let's see. Hive nodes can be uh, can now be constructed from the global ability bar. They lob explosive spores, which damage and suppress enemies. Okay, and we got a level as well as this warp sense of Mandula. Okay, energy regeneration, evolutionary enhancement to the to the hive lord's form, rendering it more combat effective. Okay, don't think we'll use that. Also. Uh, I just had a bit of a realization, uh, but I'll read it. I'll say that in a second. For now, crushing claws plus 25 melee skill designed to maximize the stress and strain on its target. These crab-like claws can break open plasteel, ceramite, and raised bone armor with blinding speeds. Okay, good against heavy infantry. And then we have the lictor with flesh hooks. The flesh hooks upgrade. Fire barbed hooks to damage enemy infantry and pull a target towards you. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, uh, Scorpions get over here, but it's Cthulhu on legs. <laughs> Just doing it instead. I think people would prefer <laughs> prefer Scorpion. Yeah, we right back. He is something over here in real life. I don't need to check it out. Okay, and then there's the Devourer upgrade for the Ravener. Which, well, it's not that interesting. So, flesh hooks it is. Okay. And yeah, since Drakir can hear this, since he has a Bluetooth headset, I'll say it right now. It actually makes sense. This is actually fitting with all of these accessories being storable and re equipable because that's one thing that the Tyranids do. They store biological data for later if it becomes useful at some other point. Yeah, for them, they, if you think a ye, they, for they never throw their, like, if they have something that seems to say something that they like a failure, those quote unquote former failures can become useful again when the time is right. Yeah. Okay. Continuing uh, yeah. down the health line. Accelerated metabolism plus energy. Uh, ta -da -ta. Okay, I think that I think that we're going to see that same description a few times over on more generic stuff. Uh, the devourer, you know, the ravener, 
you know, getting that upgrade again. And then we have the Zoentrope here. Slow, fragile artillery units. Comes with the focused warp blast and the warp field abilities. Projects a synapse aura that increases the health regeneration of nearby units. Okay, that's going to be an easy pick again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. I just had to go away for more to check. For I was wondering if one if nephew or someone was saying, "Oh, if I heard a lot of rackets." Okay, and now we can choose the tyrant guard here instead. Hmm. Now let's go with the lictor. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh dear, this is gonna be interesting. Drive slower, you break me bitch, he says. And don't forget to drive on the shiny bridges for good luck. Listen up, kids. Warboss Smashface says there will be fine ahead, and we need to get our gear to war. So just be sure to get enough trucks past the supply station for the war. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we know what the hive uh, mind thinks about that. <laughs> Just immediately oh, start shooting, huh? Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I, I thought... <laughs> I thought that uh, most units would be primarily requisition, but it does make sense to get you know, to re require some power for ranged units and such. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> Did he just? Yep. Yeah, the, the, the hive mind wants a monopoly on being the only swarm in the entire galaxy. Yeah, oh god, sort of a one mind syndicate. But I theorize how they. Hive mind would deal with each uh, faction. And Hello? Wox is one of those that, that it could be on competing ground for both all swarmers. However, the solution is terrifying. Mm, what would that be? Turn the orcs against each other? No, oh, they are always more against of, each other. More of using them as cattle. Uh, yeah, 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 since they uh, they can ref they can add uh, refill their numbers rapidly due to being fungal in nature. Yeah, and they would all store them in their own hive ships or occasionally digest them. <laughs> And since they have their own, just send their own high fleet in the minions to fight them, just to keep them big and strong. Yeah, that is... Yeah. Just win-win. But they absorb their own anyway already. Yep. Hmm. Which would probably be an extremely effective way to travel for one four distances on your Get more genetic material and fuel and all that. So now, now I'm actually getting the idea what if the hive minds manages to uh, incorporate some of the orcs' fungal nature into itself. Uh, they already have! It. Where the heck do you think the cold effects came from? <laughs> But I the meant more the fact that they can wrap, that they don't need. That's, I meant more the the reproduction effects like mushrooms and such, so that they could basically feed on just uh, sunlight or so. Oh, they can already do that probably to some degree. But yeah, the config is especially the older models. The older config model actually have a orcish yaw. Okay. <laughs> But they're still from there, for they, their massive organic cannon on the back is from the Vogue fungus thing, for it's, it is explosive spore cannon. And uh, the new conflict is called, known as the Killer Screamer, or Screamer Killer, is a new variant there that, that, that is with two legs, slice and dice, fast, and screams, and apparently has a Vius plus 
Atma breath attack. Yeah, okay, that definitely sounds like they got some Eldar in there. Or at least got some, uh, stole some ideas from the Eldar. Wait, what? Yeah, the, the whole screaming thing being very like the band, much like the Banshees. Oh, uh, I think that more small of what the, uh, the Space Marine or Animal Humans are calling it for its screams. And it looks actually, yeah, yeah the, the new one actually has kind of uh, it's the orcish your back in a weird way. Okay. Just it has a the mouth itself is nothing big. Just it has a very massive and broad chin. Yeah, better to chew with. <laughs> uh, I, wait, I have a good. I think I have a good comparison. Do you remember Lord Farquaad from Shrek? Yeah. Basically like that. Just more muscular chin than your. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Time to smash up the bridges again. And eat them. Now I think even the Tyranids wouldn't bother eating this <laughs> eating stone. Okay. <laughs> Never mind with the bioplasma then. It's just this lictor gets spat on. Okay, I guess oh, the Lictor would be the closest thing to uh, a hero unit here, or another yeah, hero unit. Yeah, it was definitely the one that uh, takes Cyrus Laro, like a assassin type. Yeah. The trucks are almost here. The Rower Stranglethorn Cannon. Boss Smash Face says we need to keep this way clear for him. Oh, well, but that orc sounds almost pig-like. <laughs> it is fitting. Okay, let's get rid of the other bridge. Oop. And then... I think I just heard a creak squeal there. <laughs> well, at the very least, a, a sound effect made from one. I think I think we're about as quick I think we're about oh. as quick with destroying the building as we are with killing everything inside yeah applaud hey these are aggressive I used no re it took me a few t episodes with this mission to realize those time we destroy them or windmills yep I'm still surprised that they haven't made them fly Destroy the shiny bridges you like. What? Oh, you spent be lying to me, boy. And you spent be dead before I get there, because I don't like being lied to. No out of me way. It looks like you all the work myself. And when I start fighting, you all get your faces smashed. Those were new lines, I think. Yeah. I don't think uh, yeah, we haven't heard that you know, those before. Okay. Now we just get as many warrior broods as we can. Ooh, holy! Uh, get a population cap. <laughs> yeah, one hundred and ten. <laughs> yeah, I think we did this mission with the other times they were not that high. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Lictor, you stick behind for the most part. The units gets made really fast as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. They may have said they do for the one you told to about. It could have been a personal taste. True. But again, sure, it might be the weakest story wise for the others, maybe, but not too bad. It's still within. Reason it says it is the tyrannies, and yeah, we have already said why having a very story. Oh, that's what I said. Uh, story heavy from point of view of the tyrannies would be difficult hard to do. Yeah, definitely uh, quite a bit of fun to, to play as, though. 
Oh yeah, and holy crap! You, just look at them, man behind the the just bunkering behind those walls. Yeah. So many. Here we go, boys. This is where they said the fighting was. <laughs> this is exciting. Can you feel it, boys? <laughs> well, you definitely be feeling something once you get in range. Why are you moving away? Okay, that is of course going to be a weakness. Lictor. Go get. Those are some big talents. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> he was dead before he even got there. <laughs> Okay, pull back. Gotta make sure that everyone is in synapse range. Actually, you move a bit to the front. Lictor. Uh, okay, apparently they're very intent on getting to the Lictor. Probably because they look like one of the better fights among all the runs here. Uh, oh, both of you have the Venom Cannon. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we, we have only one who doesn't have it equipped. <laughs> okay, I, I gave one too many uh, then, because I was wanting the other half to be more infantry focused. And again, these are again these are effective against both, so may as well. Yeah. There's yeah, absolutely no reason not to take that, except for the... The fact that they normally can suppress. Uh, to, 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 yeah, to suppress enemy infantry. Though we're killing things so fast that we don't even need to get them suppressed. Yeah. Holy. Oh, and apparently these take up... <laughs> these take up uh, population. Wait, what? It, I load? Yep. Is that our, our turrets? Yep. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Okay. Uh, whilst we're here with this, let's upgrade your damage. Not like we're going to have much room to spend it otherwise. Good tank. Uh, Bye-bye, tank? tank. I see no tank. <laughs> I see a usable grill for orcs. Hmm. And I think about it. Why are we holding back? We, we can actually just go and look for them and kill them where they spawn. I think if you're supposed to vote. The thing with the turrets is they will the, use similar tactics that we can recognize, especially when the hive turrets are all that around. But also, you also use tactics that normally will be hard to do, and now we can get more. Yep. And since most of our units are ranged, we don't give much of a crap about uh, them being on the other side of the wall. You? Yep, never mind. Okay, yeah, let's get back into cover with these at least. Yeah. Oh dear. What more should we buy? Or. Oh. Spawn! <laughs> then we don't have that much room, at, or not. Not that much resource left since I upgraded the uh, Hive Lord. But we can get some more uh, of these. Thank you. Ooh, more power. Okay. Throwing the fun there. Yep, Shaman. 
And that weird boy. Shop. Rock, rock, rock. Yeah, I've got something else here. Yeah, weird boys. But... Nope. And there's the big one himself. Uh, um, I think the weird boy is about to explode. Yeah, he's just dancing. <laughs> okay. Just a bit more. And for this, yeah, let's actually go look for them. <laughs> for a moment, I thought it was going to leap over. Oh, with all that fight, we lost all our gear. Now oh, it's gonna take a whole day to find all our gear again. Not even giving a damn that we just killed their war boss. Holy. Let's see. My setting mine. Uh, are oh. used for the gestation of Tyranid units. The mines have acute sensors that trigger them to open even prematurely when enemies get too close. Okay. And we have the Devourer Strangle Thorn, Inner Thorn Cannon. Plus 35 damage to vehicles, though it's not specifically an anti-vehicle weapon. Let's see. A heavier version of the Barb Strangler. Th Strangle Thorn Cannons are fire larger, stronger, more aggressive seed pods. The barbed tentacles of these pods work their way into the gaps and chinks in any armor, shredding their target from within, or from inside. And extended carapace, plus armor, and... Oh. <clears throat> Let's actually check if that works. Uh, this carapace has thickened and grown over time over uh, to extend over the few joints and vulnerable areas of the Hive Lord's body. Okay, that's 46 total, if it works. <clears throat> okay, I, I, I understand why it's not actually shown in the total amount, since the... Uh, yeah, it's just from a randomized effect that got added on. Uh, let's see, yep. Energy regeneration, new extra energy, no interest. Yeah, this is what we want. The zoanthrope. It's... Okay, spawns a, a mine that opens... Okay, it's basically... A, okay, spawns a random tyranid... Upon opening, okay, that could be interesting. And oh, oh, come on, really? You give me a level nine weapon right now? Okay. Uh, let's see, armor rating forty-five at the moment. Oh, sure, you didn't level yeah. up. Yeah, we didn't level up. Hmm. It's a bit odd that we level slower. Hmm. I guess we're all extreme powerful and only one hero. True. Hmm. Still a bit annoying. Though, hmm. That might mean that we might not hit level 10 before we get to the end, though. Hmm. Especially with might. how no, uh, especially with how no optional stuff has appeared so far. Wait, what? Wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure by this point we would have had at least one optional mission pop up, but I might be remembering wrong. Wasn't the orc one just an optional one? Hmm. Nope. I thought that one usually were optional. 
Okay, and now we can act. Now we can choose between Raveners and Zoanthrope. So, in a way, we are unlocking our other heroes, though they don't get the level along with us. <clears throat> yeah, let's go with that. The two specialized ones and just Raveners for suppressing fire. Okay. Witness the glory of the Dark Portal. Draw near, then. Watch as the entropy of the warp claims and cripples flesh and steel. We shall savor your despair. You know you're talking about <laughs> to something that does not give the absolute least of a crap about you, right? Okay, Zoentrop. No abilities yet. But it is a long-range attacker. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, re I really think that this campaign was probably given the least amount of time to be worked on. Yeah, and probably the hardest one due to, again, they need to remember what two needs are. Or rather, yeah, they will vagueness about them. I think I think there still probably would have been some ways that could have uh, made this more interesting, like having you having you uh, instead of the honor guards and such changing, maybe giving you the option to select a starting uh, a group of starting units from your uh, entire roster. Yeah, but again, they did. It was rushed, so it might have been. Ideas they wanted to do, but only able to do to time constraint. Yeah. But so far, it is fun. Do yeah, it, it, it is nice to make it levels. It's been less entertaining on story side, but it has been entertaining to just stomp through everything like an unstoppable force of <laughs> bugs and bone. Yeah, the story side is not too bad, I say. It, it could have been worse. True. It's, it's it still conveys the horror and terror about the tyranny. Okay, but for now, these tyranids like to move it, move it over to the next target to Naman. Damn you, Hill. <laughs> you no can't say I'm lying that. because they're actually going pretty fast with everything. Uh, no, yes, I yes, my, my my brain almost collapsed for trying to imagine the high mind singing. <laughs> I like to move it. Uh, King Julian gets absorbed by that uh, by a by a tyranny the high fleet. The <laughs> entire fleet starts dancing. Uh. Access realized they, if they want to be a bit more story heavy, story with him, there is one they, they could have gone with the the jeans steel of cults. Probably, yeah. Is it, is it not? We have succeeded where even the great old care could not. Come closer, approach the portal, gaze directly into the maw of the warp. If you are fortunate, your lives may be snuffed by its entropy, rather than our blades. You do know that uh, Tyranids tend to suppress warp stuff, so you actually wouldn't want them anywhere near your warp portal. Yeah, especially if you uh, start bringing the uh, synapses or so even more powerful hit the uh, Neuro Titan. Uh, no, Neuro Tyrant dude, it is only a new model, so still. Hmm. Okay, it was setting up there. Does that mean that they or is that reload or something that was shown there? Yeah. That, I, I would have liked it as well if they'd given a bit more tutorial as well. Like, 
actually showing and explaining the synapse effect as well. Nope. Yeah. Oh, dear God. He's remember something that is kind of terrifying from one one mind syndicate. Like, we know they come from the another galaxy, and they have been coming from, from, from different directions. Yep. The question is, why do they have the shadow of war? For the war is only in the Milky Way. Mm, it, actually, as, as I understand it, it should. Uh, it technically encompasses all of reality, or borders all of reality, where uh, there is so much as a sentient thought. Yeah, but the warp itself with the corner of it all only in the Milky Way. Mm. But people have theorized that the Tyranids may not be new at all to the galaxy. They may have been. Uh, it's part of another fear that they may have been within the Milky Way and done a mass harvest before. Yeah. So Basically, they Mass Effect's Reapers only on the yeah. far, far longer time scale. Yeah, so they may have encountered the warp in the past and adapted to it long ago and are just adapting more and more to it. Yeah. Okay, let's get rid of that just to be certain. Okay. But yeah, the, the game isn't as much interesting in the, on the story side, so like not at all, but it is more enjoyable in a sort of arcadey, just smash and kill everything uh, way. Yeah, but also in a, again, it's a genius in a horror way as well. Lictor, pull back a bit and you actually capture that whilst the rest, well, go have a snack. Okay. It is also a bit interesting to have a main unit that is also ranged, instead of just charging in like every other one. Yeah. As, as a, I swear, if they were to do stories from Tunis' perspective, it probably will be best to do it from the Yin Steel Cults. Yeah. For them, you're a cultist. And you get to see their perspective and how they view these... Uh, they are just view them as gods. Yeah, we're a villain protagonist story and such. Yeah. So in that case, it could work. At least if we want some banter between characters. Yeah. Since no, since uh, hive cults or genesis cults aren't uh, well, they they are in some ways mentally linked, but not as directly. Yeah, and they are intentionally giving duality. Even the gene stealers, there are uh, individuals, but yeah, they are still connected to the hive mind. They very much tell the the hive fleet when the world is ready for a harvest, and they will sabotage it. Yep. So you're gonna have enemies from above and enemies from below. Okay. All from within the ranks. But and yeah, even people they people in general used... don't really like uh, playing as villain protagonists though, so that might be somewhat of an issue. It may work, as, let's be honest. At least in this game, we also get to play Chaos. True. And orcs, so... Yeah, in, in <laughs> right context, <laughs> it will work. Or, you, or in most cases, you're more... Uh, the main villain yourself. Okay, so sure trip capture that quickly. This needs to be a good guy or not. Okay, Lictor, pull back a bit. Okay, what to get it, with it, this? Right, were the playing as a Yeast Cult actually mean you are a the main antagonist? Yeah, that would technically be the patriarch. You would just be you would be more like a minion. Okay. 
<laughs> Let's do it half and half as much as we can with the Raveners. But yeah, it, again, I can still see it still work for... It, again, we have many games where you play it like that anyway. True, and you could probably, like, you could maybe even say something like uh, some sort of mutation that uh, the character you're playing as isn't as mentally linked and indoctrinated as the others or so. Yeah, if you play as the, uh, the cultist, well then, yeah, you can still be individual. But well, still also be fanatical and evil. It just shows how fanatical and evil you will be. Okay, just overwhelming swarm. Take out those for a sec, will you? Ooh, move away. And well, heck, they, they probably would do, do also a little assassination to make sure they're old remain secret and all. <laughs> Assassin's Creed uh, Warhammer edition. Uh, try to re-say that last word, please. <laughs> Both of you misspoke. Warhammer Assassin's Creed edition. Y you said Warhammer. V O R E. <laughs> no, it's it, that's a, it, it's kind of fitting in a way. <laughs> All they do is eat. Okay. Let's just keep on killing. It's what the tyranids are all made for. Quite literally. We'll eat. Uh, I guess be reborn. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we are at the unit cap, so there's not much we can do, and there is not a single or not a. There's no other expanders left. So time to upgrade the lords. Okay. okay. And that's time. Do we only need to extend time? Yeah, we already have a second stream planned for today. And, well, I, my phone was out of battery, so I couldn't keep the timer running. Oh. So, yeah, normally on a weekday, I'd say we, we extend on a bit beyond this mission. But, yeah, since we're already going to be doing you know, another stream, uh, that's going to be now. Okay, I, th I think that speaks of how just, how much damage our units are dealing with. They're just... <laughs> Lee. Yeah, they, they, they abandoned the bunker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, I'm with Hillian again here. Might be a bit weak on the story. Though, again, it's... Kind of, they can afford to be that like that, but the gameplay. Yeah, it, it, it's less interesting fun and more just dumb destruction fun. Like the same reason you play like uh, the Just Cause games for the destruction, not the story. Oh God! I, I know I'm stuck with that joke. War Assassin Creed hybrid. <laughs> this. You know what? I would not be surprised if they do that. Yeah, the way they basically... The way they basically go shotgun with the license and let everyone try the hand, someone might come up with that idea eventually. Yeah. And they do have the Assassin Sanctorum thingy, so... Your yoke may have some merit. <laughs> Shocking biomatter. Okay. Yes, not really any point in capturing that since we're at the limit already, so straight over here. <laughs> hey. Because it's time for the Hive Lord to take a bath again. Hold on, I used to. Say, say Warhammer. Warhammer. 
Oh, right. Okay, okay. I misheard you earlier then. <laughs> I, you, I, I just realized. That. I just realized. I said, depending on people's accent pronunciation, when they, when you, they say Warhammer, it may sound like the other word. Okay, I was already expecting that. I <laughs> didn't want to point it out. <laughs> Okay. I was already 50 feet on but in a way, the old one would all, all have been a bit funnily comical, since it's the Tyranids. Uh, no, no, I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if there is a porn parody of 40k somewhere <laughs> that it, it, is War Warhammer. I will not be surprised, <laughs> but do, I, think, I think War is just Latin for E. Like Tony War or, or Herbie War? Maybe. Also, that thing just died in the moment it became uh, targetable. Okay, oh, I can't wait. tell it. I, I can't tell if the. I can't tell if it might be in part the synapse bonus, just giving everything massive boosts. All of the red terror is causing killer red demon <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> or if it's just the, the, the Tyranid units are just freaking overpowered in comparison to the others in the campaign. Yeah, it, it, I, I, well, hey, they all definitely work as an extremely good counter against Chaos. And yeah. Hello, Dreadnought. And bye. <laughs> we are the one who stomps through. Holy... Yeah, yeah, either this is definitely all on purpose, or there is a balancing issue. <laughs> Let's see. Spore mine drop. Call in a drop of spore mines that explode upon impact and suppress enemy infantry. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, upgrade Raveners. And fell of the red uh, terror. The distinctive red chitin that forms this carapace was first seen on the Raveriner dubbed the Red Terror by the miners of Devlin. This bizarre chitin reacts to the blood of its victims, healing the Hive Lord with each kill and increasing its speed and reflexes. Okay, and its armor. Okay. Oh, I, I may have heard of that one. Oh, I, I think it's a part of all the Warhammer. Horror novels! Would not be surprised. Let's see, and yeah, we're definitely equipping that since it all it's one, well, it's it heals on kill and it speeds up on kill, so we're just going to be stomping through everything even faster. <laughs> yeah, about that. I think it said level cap nine. We'll see. For now, crippling scything talents, reduce enemy damage outputs, slow enemies for 10 seconds, doubt they have survived that long, 25% chance to do extra damage. Coated in a potent neurotoxin, these talents have a delirious, uh, deleterious effect on those unfortunate enough to be struck by them. And we have rending claws for the gene stealers to increase melee damage, or we, uh, <laughs> we send the lictor off to go on leg day. Oh, that, that could be fun, actually. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, oh, come on. not getting submissions. I mean, uh, we got one level. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Since we don't have so many heroes, we have less reason to... The only XP go to the Tyranny... Basically, we will release level 10. We will do that. Because this is the only lord we have. Yeah, the, le the so, amount needed per level is increased, maybe. Yeah, so basically he... Yeah, so basically he... But usually when they be divided amongst the four, it's given all to him, so they had probably to slow down his leveling to balance it out, otherwise you... Hmm. Yeah, otherwise you be basically level 10 in a... already in Dahu. And yes, yeah, still, also something I'm noticing here is that we have a lot less uh, upgrades to go for here. So, yeah, I, and still no optional stuff. So I think, yeah, I think we're just, uh, I think this is just a, 
a straight line down the story with no distractions beside it because well the hive mind wouldn't bother with distractions yeah unless the distraction serves a purpose like all right you're going for the total target but first move by your mass yeah the biggest yeah, worm <laughs> But for now, that'll be it for Retribution, and uh, yeah, I, I can see, though, why uh, people who go with the Tyranids would find it rather disappointing compared to everything else. And, well, uh, I don't know, since they're one of the first two over here, there's a good chance that people would click on the big bug over uh, <laughs> Grim and uh, Broody over here. Yeah. Oh, I just, somebody just told me, if they were to make a Jane Steel Cold game, it, it might be almost similar to Vampire the Masquerade? Maybe, yeah. Just more coldest version? Okay. Yeah, that's different. It could be really interesting to play a game like you know, set like that, but for yeah, now... You, yeah, you play as a cult, try to keep it a secret, and uh, yeah, prepare the world. <laughs> yeah, for now though, let's go look for someone to raid. Uh, let's have a look. 3 Jack is online with Baldur's Gate 3. Here and I with Cuisineer. I'm Nice is playing Animal Crossing as it become usual. Isaiah Rozier with Subnautica, Kirin Osioka with Old School Runescape, Frogcast is playing Warcraft, World of Warcraft, uh, WBPL is playing Breath of the Wild, K9 is playing Risk of Rain Returns, and Horatius the Dwarf is having their Psychology Open House. So, which of those sound interesting to you? Good question. Either free of yak or oh, this is around the area, so there, uh, free of yak or canine. Let's go with three O Jack now because you've said their name like three Jack times. Yeah, for okay. to remind myself. <laughs> Okay, copy name, slash uh, rates, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, I can definitely see why people would find this campaign to be disappointing. It probably would have helped if they put the Tyranids on the other side of the campaign uh, board, so to speak, like swap them, uh, swap them around with the spots where the, <clears throat> the Imperial Guard is, so people are maybe a little bit less likely to you know, pick them or something. But yeah, it, it definitely feels weak, a lot weaker on certain things. Like the fact that there's no side missions and you don't have any heroes, and also the fact that there's absolutely no banter possible even. Which makes sense that there's no none, but still. Yeah, again, why I suggest if you want to banter, you probably would need to go with the Yeats Steel Cult. For that, that, not all the cultists are mutants. Or some are, some are not, but again, there will be banter there. Yeah. It, I think it could have worked if they'd made a few uh, hero units who were granted more intelligence and autonomy, like uh, a Lictor who constantly suggests to be stealthy and such, uh, a bigger Ravener who constantly wants to go shoot stuff. It, it would. You could probably play it up for. A, yeah, for comedy for a big part of it. Like, they're all so one-minded on their one thing. <laughs> oh, dear. But, yeah, basically, uh, the Three Stooges, but they're all Tyranids. <laughs> and the High I'm Lord gonna... has to tolerate them. <laughs> oh, gods. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, a pity, but it, it works with what it has. <clears throat> yeah. For now, though, oh, the heck. Uh, let's see. Thank you, everyone who's watching now or later. Do we have any lurkers? We do not. So, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all 
who may watch this later here on Twitch or YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in about uh, two and a half hours, a bit longer than that, we will be continuing with Nefarious. And we'll see how long that goes, because I, the way it's been going so far, it feels to me like it's not going to be that long, but you're definitely oh. hinting that there's a lot more to going on after. <laughs> so... We'll be returning to maps. Okay, it, it's, it, it's finally a bit of a reverse of the typical, that I know the game that we're streaming and you don't, but it's the other way around. And yeah, I, pizza. I, I will say it's probably two or three more streams, counting this one. Yeah, you mean the next one for yeah, Nefarious? The upcoming one. And yes. Pizza lover jumping in right at the end. Uh, yeah, there will be a second stream today in about two and a half ish hours. <clears throat> if nothing gets in the way, of course. Always gotta put that disclaimer in there. But yeah. Uh, thank you for showing up all the same. The VOD will be there for you to enjoy <laughs> in a minute. So uh, yeah. Thank you again for watching. Let's get that raid started. If I said get that raid started. There we go. <clears throat> and yeah. Uh, thank you again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for the tyrannids. <laughs> and on that seagulls. Bye! <laughs>